This is what happens. I go out there and I do real videos all day long. And then I get YouTubers that pretend they do real videos and it's not. You're seeing it witnessing first class. We're going to go over in a minute. How about that? Go back to your own country and shut the f what? Pizza cam, Jack. What? What's up for you? Oh! What? What? Why are you starting on me? I keep it raw, you guys. And then I get people like this who make a mockery of myself. Hey, look, it's so bad. Like, it's, I, I do all my reactions raw. Alright pranksters, welcome back to your favourite YouTube channel. Today's video is based on comedy. Things that make you go ha 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 lol until your stomach implodes on itself. Doesn't that sound delightful? Mr Jack Jones, a 26 year old man from London who dominated social media between 2014 and 2016. Who is Jack Jones Curtis and what sort of content does he post? Well you might recognise him from this masterpiece. So, 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 so. Tickle wiggle wiggle! <laughs> for a grown man saying tickle wickle while stroking another man's beard? Yes, please. That's the sort of comedy I live for. And if you don't recognize him, FYI, he started his YouTube channel in 2014, which has over 400,000 subscribers to date. But most people, including myself, would know him from Facebook, where he posted prank videos mainly annoying the public. And Facebook is where most of his very real and hilarious pranks went viral, which resulted in him having over 3.4 million page likes. I mean, 3.4 million. He must have top grade comedy. <laughs> Well, God be old and the Jesus from Nazareth. The last time I heard noises like that was in my porn up browser. Right, well then. However, Jack Jones couldn't keep up with his persona he had created, and slowly he revealed his true colours behind the comedy character he perceived to be. But before we dive into the real Jack Jones, please let's try and reach 1,000 likes on this video as it really does help me out. Also subscribe so we can get to 40,000 by the end of the year. I swear that will make me so happy, more than you'll ever know. Now, let's take apart Jack Jones' persona and showcase what happened over the years. Just like every con artist, their journey eventually comes to an end. Clever as the devil, but twice as pretty. However, in Jack Jones's case, he was as clever as my pet cactus. But come on, he has to be a respectable bloke. I mean, he's really, really funny. Don't talk about my hero like that. Or do I have a reason to? How about that? Go back to your own country and shut the f you fag. I'll knock the f out of you. You have no money. Well, Jack. Racist and homophobic. Probably best you packed your tent and went home, to be honest. It's not the school playground anymore. But when this video was leaked, it did really shock a lot of his audience because they weren't used to seeing this side of Jack, only the comedic angel he perceived himself to be. And here's a comment he made. You have no money. Apparently, according to him, money defines a person. Quite rich coming from a man who was only averaging between 100 and 200k a month at the time of this video being leaked. 200k views a month? I mean, that's not exactly going to secure with the bag, unfortunately, Jack. I mean, you could always sell your nudes to your fans for money, Jack. <laughs> or has he already done that? Stop it right there. There's children watching. So not only is he homophobic or racist, but there's leaked proof right there. I feel like that's betraying your audience in a way. Now, once the information was leaked that he was selling nudes, this was a screenshot that came from his Snapchat story promoting his site. And apparently money defines people. And Jack definitely has a lot of money. But yet the camera caught his potato vision. It's like in 180p. Looking at this picture makes me feel rich, to be honest. However, did Jack Jones stop there? Absolutely not. Now, for the rest of the video, I'm going to be covering his fake pranks, him crying and calling the police when someone pranked him, and also threatening a doorman outside of a club. And now, my good friend Don Valentine can cover this with solid proof. Now, without further ado, meet my time-traveling friend. Good evening, my fellow watchers of the Curtis Price channel. You can refer to me as Dr. Don Valentine. I am a time traveler, dives into people's pasts and see all the mistakes they've done through their career. Now, if you couldn't tell already, Jack Jones is a primal instinct animal. My dick all over the walls. Fair play to you, there's a lot of technique there, but even then I've seen 14 year old girls perform better than you. Now, without context, that probably does sound quite concerning. <laughs> However, Jack Jones likes dishing it out, but he can't take it back in. Well, you can't handle the heat, stay out of the kitchen. And if you're an alcoholic, stay away from the pubs. Hey, that was so fucking close. Pizza cam! <laughs> Pizza cam, Jack. <laughs> what? Pizza for you! <laughs> oh! What? What? Come on, come on. Why are you starting on me? Come on. What? A bit of pizza in the face. 
Oh, mate, what a nightmare. Yeah, yeah, that's Because the police are, you phoned the police because I put pizza in your face, Jack. Oh, Jack. That ain't wasting police time, I don't know what it is. A bit of pizza in your face. Oh, here we are, so we've got some officers. Basically, Jack's phoned the police because I put a bit of pizza in his face. But you don't tell the people, Jack, now it's happened to you. Big man, big Jack Jones in the police car, he's phoned the police on me because he's got a bit of pizza. Bit of pizza in your face and you phone the police. So Jack Jones has phoned the police because someone shoved a piece of pizza in his face. Keep in mind, that was a prank. And pranking is something that Jack Jones does on a daily basis. Now obviously in Jack's case, he thinks that we're animals and haven't evolved yet. So let me present it to you in the Jack Jones logic. Apparently, if Jack Jones does it to you, then it's okay. But if you do it to him, however, watch out because he's going to tell on you and get you into a lot of trouble. Oh, oh Jesus, mighty Christ. High school flashbacks. <laughs> now we've showcased Jack Jones being a wet vagina, it's time to demonstrate his choice in resultant to violence. Yes, I had it right. I almost messed it up then. <laughs> Why are you doing this? What? Why are you bringing the action in, mate? This flat. This flat's over it. Buddy, do you mind if I point your face? Just straight outside. Just take yourself away, mate. Yeah, it's on my side. Don't just stay outside. Oh, oh, isn't it just wonderful? Jack Jones being violent because the doorman wouldn't let him into a club. Oh, what a shame. Probably better off if he wasn't in there, to be honest. Don't think anyone likes you, Jack. Sorry, man. This man really is wetter than I thought, but surely he must have some sort of humanity in him, right? <laughs> or is this next example another reason to hate Jack Jones? Here we go, in March 2017 there was a tragic attack on the Westminster Bridge with a total of 49 injuries and 6 deaths, which is obviously very unfortunate. And the wholesome Jack Jones, well here's is what he had to say. Rip to those lost their lives today. The utmost respect to our public services for dealing with the situation. Ah, oh, that's very sincere Jack. Oh, guys, maybe he does have a heart after all. Except he, he posted a picture attached to it of him wearing his new coat with nothing else underneath. Very appropriate considering the circumstances, attaching an F-boy picture to a really tragic event. Showing off your new coat? No one gives a shit about your new coat, Jack. Put it away. Now I'm starting to understand why people actually dislike Jack Jones. Are you? <sighs> now the final question people are asking, is Jack Jones's pranks fake? Well, most every prank channel is. However, did we catch Jack Jones out? Well, ladies and gentlemen, there's only one way to know that. And I think I'll pass you over to HQ this time. My name's been Dr. Don Valentine. Please leave a comment what you thought of the segment and use HQ. Every day I'm shitting and I'm pissing on this hypocrisy. Alright, so welcome back to HQ. Now the question on everyone's mind is, how big is my willy? <laughs> Hmm. Now pranks. If you've been watching me long enough, then you should know by now that I pull some amazing pranks. Oh. Curtis, what the hell do you think you're doing? The hell are you doing? <laughs> you can't think what you're doing. Oh my god, it's a big ball patch in the back of your head. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, Get shit. that camera away from me! You're, you've got a massive ball patch in the back of your head! <laughs> That's not the sort of prank you pull on someone. Enough of it! Right, so what would you call a, a real prank then? Well, I was thinking of making toothpaste audios and feeding them to the homeless people. <laughs> Something like that. But that skit alone was probably better than anything Jack Jones has ever done. However, the real question is, is Jack Jones's pranks fake? Well, let's take a look at this prank and use it as an example. This is what happened. I go out there and I do real videos all day long. David? What? What's going on? I've come to meet you from Tinder. Nah, mate. Yeah, I don't know you, fam. For the sex, I've come what? to meet you. Hey, bro, who the f do you think you're talking to, Like, Give me a f phone, bro. Ah, So the pranks are real. <laughs> I knew it. Ah, so they, they, they're not. Well, let's switch positions and you can bend me over because that's the biggest Uno reverse card I've ever received. As you can see, Jack Jones was filming a prank. Someone literally recorded a video from their window of Jack Jones faking a prank live on camera. Oh, talk about expose orgasms, because I'm having one. <laughs> and back in the day when I was a teenager and he was actually relevant, I used to look up to Jack as one of my big inspirations of comedy. Talk about crushing a 14-year-old dreams, eh? And as I say in bed, I haven't quite finished. Oh. Shouldn't have. I told you not to move. <laughs> Time to sweep this fucker under the rug. 
However, let's tighten up the exposing just a little more. Now, this next part isn't exactly a proven fact, and there's no solid evidence to this. But when the London Bridge terror attack happened and the police closed all the roads, in the heat of the moment when everyone was panicking, Jack Jones decided to uh, say that he was more important than everyone else, apparently. Okay. <laughs> he allegedly pushed through the crowds and demanded that he would be escorted off the bridge first because he was more important than everyone else. If you're a prankster from Facebook, Jack who tickles people's beards as comedy. Just, just relax. Putting all these examples together, Jack Jones is definitely the wettest cum stain I've ever seen. But wait before you click off. I'm getting air cut soon. Uh, fringe is a bit long, but, but, but besides the point, Listen, what was your opinion on Jack Jones? I want you to tell me in the comment section. Have you heard of him? What do you think of what he's done? What do you think of his comedy? <laughs> Wise choice of words, but you know. And also, a really big question, I really need you guys to reply to this. What do you think of the characters? Would you like to see more of the characters I involved? So I've got Dr. Don Valentine, the Arcane of Sin. I've also got some more characters up in my head that I'm going to be buying outfits for in the future. Just need to, you know, get some of that ad revenue first. Or oh, would you prefer to see the characters maybe only for three to four minutes of video to make it more special and, and have me longer in HQ? And just one more thing before you do go, I'm sorry, you probably want to literally slice my year lobe off right now. But you guys have been killing the videos recently and this is truly me now, I'm not going to put any persona on. You guys have been killing the videos recently and uh, we've been literally smashing the views. The likes have been really great so if we could get a thousand likes in this video that would be epic and obviously share my video around with your friends. Share my channel around with your friends because I badly want to hit 40k by the end of the year. Genuinely that's what would make me really happy and this is genuinely me on camera now so I would really appreciate it. But back into character. Follow my Twitter, follow my Instagram and without further ado I'll see you all in my next video. Yeah. Peace. Uh, most of the time when these people be talking, I don't even hear them. I don't. They talk and they talk, but I do not hear shit when I'm near them.